So, this is just a little pretest on the acid and base section of where you're at right now. I grabbed three questions from last year's provincial exam. Uh, I'm going to show you the three questions. If you actually know what you're doing with acids and bases, you should get three out of three. I'm going to let you answer them first. Make sure you got your data booklet with you because you're going to need that indicator chart. Um, and then I'll go back over the answers. So, here we go. Question number one, a sample of an unknown substance was tested using several pH indicators. Looks like they're methyl red, indigo carmine, and methyl orange. And the results show that methyl red was red, indigo carmine was blue, methyl orange was yellow. So based on that observation, which of the following is the possible pH? So you've got a very basic pH, got a very acidic pH, and then you've got these two pHs hovering around the middle. And again, to answer a question like that, you definitely are going to need your chart from your data booklet. Question number two, which of the following characteristics identifies a base? Turns blue litmus red, releases hydroxide in water, causes bromothymol blue to turn yellow, reacts with a salt to produce an acid and water. And then the last question, Which of the following pairs correctly matches a compound with its pH when the compound is dissolved in water? So these are the four compounds. We dissolve them in water. Sodium oxide gives you a pH of greater than 7. Sodium chloride, greater than 7. Hydrochloric acid, 7. And sodium hydroxide, 7. Which one of those would actually be true? So if I were you, I would just stop the video at this point and then um, yeah, come back and just see what the right answers were. Okay, take a look at the first one. Which of the following is the possible pH of this substance? Give yourself a big hug. If you, let's get a pen here, if you got pH of 4.5, and again, the reasoning is that this was true for methyl red, but it wasn't true for methyl orange. Methyl orange is not going to be yellow so at 2.5, right? Um, so nix that option. pH of 6.5, um, methyl red is going to be yellow at pH of 6.5. So again, that one cannot be true. So you're looking for any one of these that is not true. pH of 8.5, at a pH of 8.5, methyl red is going to be yellow. They say it's red. So again, this one, no go. So again, get used to using that chart, this chart, because, uh, yeah, you can see we're at 2.5, Bring it down and you can see what color methyl orange is. Methyl orange is red at 2.5. Methyl red is red. Indigo carmine is blue at 2.5. So the next question, which of the following characteristics identifies a base? Uh, again, the correct response here should be B, releases hydroxide. This basically is a definition of a base. If you're releasing hydroxide in water, this is what makes it basic. Turns blue litmus red? No. Uh, a base turns red litmus blue. Causes bromothymol blue to turn yellow? No. <laughs> Why don't I just write no? Uh, acids cause bromothymol blue to turn yellow? Acids do so. Reacts with a salt to produce a produce and wa acid and water. Hmm. In every multiple choice question, there is an option, a distractor, which is nonsense. That one simply doesn't make any sense at all. So you should just ignore that and just concentrate on the two or three that maybe are possibilities. So, the last question. When you're looking at compounds like sodium oxide. Sodium oxide is a metal with a nonmetal, right? We call this a metal. We call this a metal. Wow. Metal 
somebody can tell me why that happens, I would be really impressed. Eh? Metal oxide, metal with a non-metal. And you are supposed to know that metal oxides dissolved in water, what do metal oxides do dissolved in water? They are going to form bases, which again is, of course, greater than a pH of seven. So that is correct. Sodium chloride is a salt, has absolutely no effect on pH. So it's not gonna be greater than seven. Hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid. You're going to have a pH of around two. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. You're gonna have a pH up there around eight to 10. So again, the only option that is correct is A, and of course, if you missed my little explanation there, there you go for that one. So if you have any question about any of those problems, and of course, you can find more of them on the random test for this chapter, don't try to memorize these random questions. Purpose here is to uh, get to the point where you're comfortable with any type of problem on this, and the more problems you do, the more comfortable you will get, right? So we are done.